Well, guys, it's uh, that time of year. Um, and it's probably a good thing. I've been noticing a bit of a vibration on the left-hand side here, uh, down at my foot. So I got a feeling it's the dry bearing. Um, a little over 14,000 K on the sled. I haven't done the dry bearing yet. Um, so yeah, got those dry bearings here. We'll replace those. I've been uh, just taking the seal off every year, repacking them with the grease. Uh, I was told they should have been done at around six or eight thousand kilometers. So I guess I've been on borrowed time. Anyways, um, I just noticed that vibration this past year, so it's I haven't dug into it yet. I'm about to, but that's probably what the vibration is all about, and it could mean a new drive shaft as well because uh, I've heard and I was just told to confirm it that the drive shaft spins inside the uh, the bearing uh, race. It's loose. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing to this sled. Um, it definitely needs some love. It's filthy. It's tired. It needs some maintenance. No doubt. Um, yeah. So we're going to dive into uh, some maintenance over the next few days or so and see what we find. Um, thinking about a new track for next year, but we'll see. Uh, I will say this sled has been great. I'll do uh, a complete review on it later on, but uh, a little over 14,000 K on it and it hasn't given me any troubles. So I can't complain. Uh, the sled really doesn't owe me anything. I just keep maintaining it and I don't drive it crazy hard. Um, I mean, sometimes I get on it with the guys um, but most of the time, it, I'm just cruising with it. But, uh, yeah, so this, uh, this track, got 14,000 K on it. It's got a little over an inch of lug height left. It's a 1.25 ripsaw two. Um, that's probably got like an inch and an eighth, inch and a, inch and a sixteenth left. Um, so it's held up pretty good, great track, um, but I'm thinking about if I got to pull the drive shaft out of this, um, and do some bearings, definitely got to do the bearings on that side, not sure if I'm going to do the bearings on the chain case side yet, uh, as they're, they're just, they're in a, an oil bath all the time, so... Not there yet, but I will inspect them when I get there. Uh, but if I need a new drive shaft, um, I may just go ahead and get a new track. The 1.25 is a great trail track. Uh, just when you start getting into uh, some fresh, loose snow, it just doesn't hook up as well. So that's why I'm thinking a one and a half inch ripsaw too. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, my season's over, but it's still kind of an, I, I, I enjoy doing this maintenance stuff. Uh, it's, it's exciting for me. Fix it all back up and uh, then it's ready to go for next year. So um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll do some, progress uh, videos as I go but uh, for the most part this thing's gonna get a good cleaning and uh, replace a bunch of bearings in the skid again I usually do that every other season uh, so that's due um, this is actually that's my checklist of stuff actually for all my equipment 
and toys so um, if you don't have a, a a maintenance board not a bad idea to have one um, because we all know I know my memories not like it once was so it's good to write stuff down so anyways uh, yeah I'm gonna dive into this over the next few days and see what I find all right uh, stay tuned I'll have some more videos shortly <laughs> 